Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am here every Sunday through Thursday, 10.30 p.m. Eastern time. Readings generally begin at 10.25 Eastern. They go live at 10.30, so you can pop in the chat five minutes prior to the reading beginning. You should chat with everyone. If you wanna get a personal reading with me, there's a link in the description description box below where you can book a reading. You can also join my OnlyFans. Go ahead and click that link and that will take you to my socials and everywhere else you need to go. You can also become a member of my channel. So thank you for being here. Now let's get on to your reading. Hi Virgo. Let's get into your reading. Okay. Let us, ooh, what's going on? <clears throat> Already that quick. Oh, the Phoenix. New phase, rekindle, renewed transformation, growth, and it changed mind. Okay, that was quick. Okay, what's going on with you? you? Changing your mind about something? Entering into a new phase? Are you um, gonna relight that candle? Rekindle something here? Some kind of idea? You got something, something uh, on your mind, I feel? Rebirth, renew, transforming an idea? Uh, gonna do something different uh, put a twist on something a little a little plot twist you got a little plot twist okay that's that's yes that's what you're doing okay let's see oh 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 now you've got an engagement ring here okay hmm engagement partnership commitment eternity completion union okay 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 you also have mirror <clears throat> Mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect our wounds, introspection. All right, I want to talk about this for a minute. Okay, well, real quick. Okay, so listen. Okay, let me just make this real. Let, let, first, let me just get this out of the way. You can go back to, I think, was it Sunday? Um, maybe a little bit of yesterday. Um, I think it was like engagement, reconciliation this is a continuation of that okay some of you are just like point blank period you're getting the ring or you're proposing you'll be offering marriage okay and no i'm not talking to those of you who do not have a person that would not make sense so you don't have to post it in a comment and say well that that how's that even possible that's it's not that's not going to happen for me well no duh if you don't have a, anyone at all <laughs> you're completely single i mean then obviously i'm not talking to you i'm talking to the because listen it's a general reading so there's a lot of people I'm talking to those of you who are already partnered with someone and you're wondering if your relationship is going to go to the next level I'm talking to you guys yes there's an engagement okay coming because you two are marrying each other there is you know a lot of introspection and it's funny because on my video on my reading I did earlier than this over on my other channel Moon Pidero, um, I was talking about mirroring kind of energy and even yesterday's reading so I would go over and check that out because that that's for the collective okay um, you're definitely going to be you and your twin here if you're already you know it, you're, you and your twin are going to be going Walking down the yellow brick road together, happily ever after. Okay, definitely. In the future, for sure. But this phoenix here, I'm telling you, you've got something going on here in your life, right? And this is profound. This is amazing, okay? Even more so than this, I feel. Because this is like major shift and change. When I say the phoenix is rising, um, I'm talking about a major growth and change. You're onto something huge some type of idea or some kind of plan or something that you're doing or thinking about doing going forward is going to turn into a huge it's going to turn your life around that's what i'm saying okay it's going to turn your life around so i don't know what you're working on i don't know what you're planning to do This feels like a um, snowball. Starts off real small, 
little tiny ball that you start rolling down a hill and the more it keeps rolling keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and turns into an avalanche look at that you've got the lovers this is like a partnership of some sort it's either a business partnership and it's all surrounding this okay this is some kind of a partnership that i feel is going to be like blessed you know partnership can be about love but this is a deep union and you do have that here you are engaging and i feel like you're coming into some kind of union or partnership that's going to be transforming and and life changing and it doesn't necessarily have to just be romantic life changing where you come into contact with someone that has a profound effect on your life that causes extreme growth you know these types of scenarios and situations can occur where you meet someone in the grocery aisle and they tell you something or you just briefly pass someone on the street and they say something to you they don't have to be in your life at all and that plants a seed or a thought or something gets your gears going and something happens you know or you see something somewhere this is what i feel like this energy is and for some of you this is someone that you sit down around the table with a bunch of people and an idea begins to form and this sets you and a whole bunch of other people into some kind of union or partnership or a plan and some type of progress get, gets made where you know there's this like lift off you know like um this profound, you're, you're going to be part of something huge. That's what I feel like is going on here. <clears throat> Whether it's something that you initiate or create on your own and you're leading the way in this, or it's something that you're a part of, it'll be have a profound effect on um, the direction that the water flows downstream do you know what I mean uh, you're not uh, you're not going to have an effect on the water flowing down the stream you're just going to have an effect on the direction it flows because we don't have the kind of power <laughs> that kind of power <laughs> to make the water flow you know we just have the power we have we have enough to direct the power of the water but we can't <clears throat> make it flow you know that that's God <laughs> that's universe <laughs> you know um it's what we do with the water so anyway i'm not going to get into all that zen stuff but yeah you you basically you will be given some type of a tool um or some type of way um the tool is the water you will be given and the tool is the rock or the tool is the wood or the tool is the metal you will be given a way <laughs> to direct the flow of this energy and it will have a profound effect that's what i'm trying to say and there is some type of partnership it will affect your life it will affect this partnership yeah that's a pretty profound message going forward so i'm not really sure what it is that you're going to be doing or that you have happening or that you're working on right now or that you haven't or a theory it could be a theory um or an ideology or something that you're writing down or something that you're thinking or you've been kind of just rummaging through that old cobwebbed brain of yours that you've been trying to figure out or putting the pieces together in your mind um, of how to make something happen here maybe you're building rockets up in your attic or you're digging tunnels to china whatever you're doing you're you're trying to figure something out to try to make something happen here and I feel like <clears throat> you're gonna come into contact with someone who is either going to help you along the way or they're gonna introduce the tool <clears throat> or the the yeah the items you need to get there okay so I think that's like pretty freaking cool <laughs> happening for sure in October happening for sure in October okay so what other messages there here for you yeah look at that look at that just when I was talking about all that water stirring up that water look
<clears throat> there's a lot here to do with making waves. <clears throat> yes, whatever you're doing here, <clears throat> you're going to be making waves. In society, you're going to be making waves in your local area. <laughs> yep, stirring up the waves, making waves, taking some people with you, that's for sure. Doing something, I feel like it's very unorthodox. I just heard the name Gabby. Gabby. Um making waves yeah you're gonna be making waves that, that's all they're giving me with that it's either you're going to be or they're saying tell virgo to start making waves that it's okay don't be afraid to to stir up some waves don't be afraid to mix up the pot mix it up don't be afraid to stir up to stir it up to stir the pot <laughs> Don't be afraid to make waves. Come out of your comfort. Let, tell Virgo to come out of their comfort zone. Don't um We got we got Virgo's back. Don't don't worry about what other people think. People will want to ride in your ship. I just heard. If you build it, they will come. <laughs> I said that. Spirit didn't say that. People will want to um Go along for the ride with you. Whatever you're creating, whatever you're making, whatever you're doing, whatever's unorthodox. Oh, that's funny. You have a six and a six. That's crazy. You have two sixes. Somebody's praying for you. Somebody's like, yes, praying for you right now. Oh. What? Hold on. Somebody's like seriously, <clears throat> oh my gosh, is wishing like all the best for you. Oh my God. This person, truly angelic. I don't know who it is. I'm picking up a lot of air energy here. But there's somebody here who's like, Okay, so first of all, you have someone who's got your back. Like, they are hoping and praying so much that you will do so well. That you will just do so well. My gosh, this is something. Oh, they just said this person is yellow. I don't know if they're ill, yellow people, yellow skin, jaundice maybe. This person is praying, okay, that was tough, sorry. Or has yellow tone in their skin. They are praying that you will do, look, see, see how the yellow? That you will do so well, that you will be blessed, that you will get to where you need to go that you will be <clears throat> that you will have the courage to succeed they're like praying for your success like legit praying they lay in bed at night and they dream and they talk to spirit they talk to god <clears throat> they they like say prayers for you seriously <laughs> but they're also praying that you two will be together so if this is a romantic person like a romantic partner they're also praying for um reconciliation I have to put that out there that you want to be with them or, or that's a separate message okay 
that you two can overcome your your difficulties here. I got to put that out there. I see it that you will come to them. Okay. There's a couple of messages going on here. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> like I said, you've got engagement. You've got mirror. There's two people here who are um, mirroring each other. Very similar. Could be um, two air sign, like an air sign, male, uh, female, um, who reflect their moons to each other, see each other in themselves, in their eyes, reflecting in their eyes, I heard. Um, loves you very much. Yes, yes, yes. And prays for your well-being. Praise for your well-being. Praise that you will. Uh, praise for healing. They're silent. This person is silent. Doesn't say very much. Not really talking. Not saying anything. Either they can't talk. Or they're just silent type of person. Um, oh, four of swords to the six of swords, skipping over the five of swords, which is the card of fighting and arguing. This person doesn't want to talk because the five of swords is not here because they don't want to argue. They just want to silently wish you well and silently send prayers and well wishes and good thoughts. There's a... They want to bypass talking because they're afraid there will be... I don't know if it's fear, but they, they don't want to fight. That's what I'm hearing. <clears throat> they're bypassing the Five of Swords. Okay. Totally. I mean, I feel like this is such a simple message, and it's gone on for 17, almost 20, close to 20 minutes. There's so much well wishes and blessings here being sent. And I'm telling you, like, whatever you're doing at this time in your life, maybe you're not doing anything. You might not, listen, you might just be cleaning your kitchen, dishes, whatever, doing your laundry, going to work, nine to five, doing whatever. Something happens in October that sets you on a new trajectory. I don't know. Something happens. You get to be in your bonnet about something. An opportunity arrives that just gives you like these feelings of like happiness and joy. This is such a healing energy. This is like um, rainforest healing. You know what I mean? Water, hope, the spring. <laughs> The cleanse. This is like a cleanse. It's like a refresh. I feel like um, you're getting like spiritually cleansed or spiritually bathed. It, like everything changed. You just you just completely transform, and it, you're led into a whole new um, life. <laughs> you know. It, it's like um, a spiritual awakening of some kind. It's not a spiritual experience. It's an awakening, which is completely different. A spiritual experience is like an experience, you know, like when you go to a concert, like, wow, that was a great experience. But awakening is like you're changed. It's totally different. You might be going through this now, but like love, you awaken to new love, a, a new new feelings, a new uh, everything, just looks and feels and tastes and and just every hear you hear differently. You know, it's like a it's like a blind person seeing for the first time. That's a spiritual awakening. It's like a deaf person hearing for the first time. Oh, what was that movie called many years ago with like Robert De Niro? Oh, it was called Awakenings. Do you remember that movie? So old. But they were all like um, senile, I guess. Oops, they're all senile. Yeah, there's your sign. Or they all had dementia or, uh, or 
I don't know what, they were all elderly and they were all given like their ability to remember. They're all like in an old folks home or something and they all got their youth back. That's a spiritual awakening. <laughs> Oh my God, it was such a lovely movie and it was so sad at the same time when they all had to go back to being old and, and stuff. I don't know, you, you guys, like, heart... Listen, I'm all about serial crime and I love all the hard, like, you know, documentaries and stuff, but a tearjerker gets me too. And uh, if you never saw the movie Awakenings, I know you guys did because we're pretty much all Gen Xers here, but I know the younger crowd probably hasn't. But man, that's a movie to go watch again because that's exactly what I'm talking about you get like your zest back for life <laughs> and I know you're not all elderly here but that's what I see happening here you're it's just like but it's some kind of transformation like just not not even just in love I don't know whatever this person I don't know what and I feel like it's a lot of it's coming from this person I don't know who this person is but they've got some kind of All I can say is that whoever they are, I don't know who they are. They may not be a lover. They could, I don't know who they are. But their prayers or their positive energy is working on you. <laughs> they might be like, um, for some of you, this is like an angel <clears throat> that you don't even know about. You know, like Nicolas Cage in City of Angels? You know, where he was walking around Meg Ryan? Every time I speak about that, my little beeper, beeper thing goes off. I feel like that's a sign, I swear. Like the City, like the city of Angels, I'm telling you. Oh, this is so profound. I don't know, I've been, oh, and look, right when I was saying that, the Five of Swords is down here. I'm telling you, this person does not want to argue. They want to bring peace and love and healing I mean could you possibly have an angel who's in love with you you do you do <laughs> I don't know you guys no oh, look there's the king of swords I was just saying that Ugh. I don't know if your king of swords is the angel I'm not saying that, you know. <clears throat> I just know that the the lovers is at the center of this reading, and I just feel like this is a tremendously profound reading, and I feel like it's very spiritual, and I feel like yesterday's reading was very spiritual, so I don't know what kind of spirit is with me right now, but I know you keep getting these, um, these little whistles every time I mention it. If something's going on, <clears throat> and I think you need to be aware. Every once in a while, something like this will come out. All right, you've got trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely profound. I'm looking at this card, and I'm trying to figure out why is that guy trying to keep the cherub from um why is he holding that stick up to the cherub like is he trying to say wait don't put the arrow in her i want her to trust me i don't want her to fall in love head over heels with me i want her to learn to trust me first that's what i feel like he's trying to say i don't want her to fancy me for all the wrong reasons i want her to trust me first for all the right reasons. <laughs> yeah, look, as she has that red bow. And she's a walking red flag. And he's like, no, 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 no. Keep your arrow to yourself, Mr. Cherub. That's just going to make her not see me because she'll have her rose colored glasses on. And the minute I do something wrong, I will fall from grace in her eyes. No, no, no. I want her to see me for who I am. <laughs> I 
I want her to see all my imperfections. I want her to love my imperfections. Don't want her to be disappointed in me. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Hmm. There's a lot of uh, Greek. I feel like this is very Greek. There's a lot of Greek energy in this card for me. So I don't know if someone here listening is going to Greece or is from Greece. A lot of cherubs too, of course, in this deck. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from usual type and expectations. I'm probably going to retire these cards, you guys, because I'm not, maybe I'm just not digging them as much anymore. I don't know. Do you guys like them? I just, I don't know. There's something, oh, they just said French and then they said Victorian. Okay, French, is that it? French Victorian? Um, so yeah, something about France or the French and Victorian era, French era, French Victorian era. Okay, that's interesting. Oh my God, something about that chair is just absolutely gorgeous. I don't know what it is, but I love it. It almost gives me a sense of like, um, uh, they're just telling me, but it, it, I'm seeing Asia as well, but it's, it's a little, reminds me of like Asia decor, Asian decor, but it, then it also kind of like a mix of French and Asian. So I don't know why, because I've never seen anything like that before, but that's the vibe. I'm, and then there's a little bit of, there's a harp. Now they're showing me a harp. I don't know what that's symbolic of. Maybe somebody here knows. I'm calling something out here that I'm not really sure what I'm talking about. <laughs> But um, yeah, let me get a couple of charms. I'm skipping the numbers and stuff today. Well, you know what? I'll do a couple of, I'll just do a couple of numbers. I just feel like the reading was very spiritual. I really didn't want to kind of water it down with anything else, but I'll give you a few. Let's just see what comes up. Okay. August 31st, we have the number 55. We have um, the number 20. We have 84, we have the letter J, the letter T, I'm going to give you all of them, the letter M, the letter K, the letter H, we have W, X, the letter N, as in Nancy, Y, and Z, the letter L, Letter G, I. Okay, you guys. <clears throat> now, if it's not you, that's fine. Oh, you know what? They just said do get some Chinese signs. Okay. Well, we'll throw those in as well. We'll throw in some Chinese signs. You or whoever this person is who's praying for you. Okay, year of the dog. Year of the goat. Year of the rat, year of the monkey, year of the snake, year of the rat again, year of the snake again, year of the rabbit, year of the rooster, year of the horse, and year of the pig. Wow. Okay, two. Wow. Okay. Two charms. They said two it is. Okay, you've got Chanel number five. All right, I don't know if you wear Chanel number five, but there you go. So if you wear that, that's a message for you. Significant, this is your message. Or if you decide to start wearing it, you can make it your message, I guess. <laughs> or someone you know wears it, or you smell it somewhere, if you're out or see it somewhere. Um, I like Chanel number five. My mother is from Europe and all of her sisters. So whenever they come visit, 
they all smell like Chanel number five. They don't wear anything else. So they're very European. And then you also have, um, well, it's like, it's funny. So it's kind of like a little saying that says made with love. <clears throat> Let's see if I can get it to show up here. Hold on, you guys. Probably won't really focus. Do you see it? Made with love. But I initially felt like it was like um, like bread. I don't know if someone's making bread, pounding out some dough for pie or cookies or um, kneading some dough. I feel like someone either did that or does that, makes pastries or goods, baked goods for someone and makes them with love. Doesn't really make them, maybe makes them to sell, but I feel like somebody makes them like to give to other people with, with love. Like it's like a little, likes to cook or bake. Either, maybe you had um, a family member who did that or, um, or used to do that for you or did that for other people or maybe we'll be doing it for the holiday season. It could be that person who's, maybe it's an angel that's watching over you. Someone that might have passed away. <gasps> Are you kidding? All right. I just randomly picked up another charm right when I was talking. And there it is again. I can't believe this isn't going to. Let me see if I can get it to show up. <laughs> It says again, made with love. Just randomly. You guys see how many charms I have. Yes, there's somebody definitely. Everything they, okay. <laughs> it's related to that. Uh, there, uh, I feel like there, I feel like there must have been someone in your past or someone that's passed away who, um, I feel like there's a message there for you that they're watching over you that they used to do things or they used to cook or make things or crafty or, or and I also feel like they had a cat or a little kitten or something they didn't ha they might not have had to they could have had a lot of stuffed animals as well um, watching over you it could be this person it doesn't have to be or they're they're there if you have a cat they might be there with your cat as well <laughs> So cute. Or they made a kitty for you, maybe? A little stuffed kitty. Or you're taking care of their cat. They might have, maybe someone, that person has passed away as well. They're watching over you. Okay, very spiritual, very, very spiritual message, but it's getting a little too much, so I have to like purge my energy here and I don't know, go drink a Pepsi. So I'm gonna leave that there for you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. And yeah, I'll be back here tomorrow. Don't forget to go over to my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot, and you can get the daily messages over there. And uh, yeah, don't forget to book a reading with me for the Spooky October special. And let me see what else. Thank you for the coffee. Don't forget too, you can also uh, donate to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children fundraiser that I have going. And we're trying to raise all the money that we can also to try to find those kids and I, I super super appreciate any donation that you can offer even if it's just one one uh, one amount one dollar one penny whatever you can give always appreciate it all right you guys so i'll see you again tomorrow same time same channel all right take care bye